we have here the pouring out now the seventh bowl of the wrath of God. And I'm glad to get them all poured out. Verses 17 and 18. And it says, And the seventh poured out his bowl upon the air. And a great voice came out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were lightnings and voices and thunders. And there was a great earthquake, such as was not, since there were men upon the earth, so great an earthquake, so mighty. Now, this is the last series of seven judgments before the coming of Christ, and this is the seventh and last of the last seven. In other words, we're right at the end of the great tribulation here, and the only one at this point that could deliver these people and set up a righteous kingdom on this earth and bring peace to the world is the Lord Jesus Christ. And so they do not look to the north, east, south, or west, but my help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Now, that is the picture here. And we find out that he pours out upon the air, it says. In other words, this is space, and no geographical location is given. The Lord Jesus controls space also. And the temple has been mentioned again and again and again. And it's mentioned here. We're identified with the people now, and that's Israel. Whether we like it or not, that nation will go through the great tribulation period. 144,000 of them are going to make it. I do not know how many more. I think there'll be another saved company. A great company of Gentiles or sealed. They're going to make it through the great tribulation period. And it'd be unfortunate if the church did get in it because they're not sealed here. These are the only two groups sealed. But the church, you see, is not going to be here. Enoch was taken. He was translated because he didn't enter the time of the judgment of the flood. Now, Noah did, and Noah was preserved in the flood. God had two ways of saving people in the great tribulation period. First, saving them out of it by taking them out of the world as he did Enoch, and saving them in it as he did Noah. And God will save people in the great tribulation period, but not the church. They leave the earth. Now, will you notice, a great voice came out of the temple from the throne. Now, that voice is not identified. I personally believe that it's the voice of none other than the Son of God. His message is recorded. It's done. That's the second time we've heard him say it. When he's hanging on the cross, he said, it's finished. It's done, to tell us thy. And now again he says it. When he had wrought out redemption, it's finished. And you can have a finished redemption if you won't. There'll be a judgment, my friend, but it'll be brought to an end. The writer to the Hebrews, therefore, was right in asking the question, how can we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? 